Morning, folks. Welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 10 to 10, 624, Tuesday. Almost 75 degrees. This one says 73. And that one says almost 22 degrees Celsius. And no, my batteries aren't quite charged yet. So, continuing with this whole inventory thing, let's take a look in shed number three. Actually, on the way to shed number three, this is a Kawasaki Mule. I think it's 1991 vintage. I got it. It was crashed. The front wheel was off. I've since fixed this part of it. The radiator's out of it, and I did buy a radiator for it. I managed to get the engine started on ether and ran out of time, and it kind of moved to the back here again. I really should get that running. Um, actually, running on ether, the uh, the torque converter didn't sound very healthy. Uh, so I should really do something with it, right, wrong, or indifferent. I should really do something, but once again, time time is short. So. This could be known as the engine shed, and you'll see I have my horde of 200S motors. There's a um, Briggs & Stratton with the torque converter, one of those electric scooters, one of those electric quads, a couple more 200Xs alongside the crate. There's a spare rear end for a Big Red or um, a 200SX more engines um, that's a pressure washer where the pumps bad a go-kart engine with a torque converter on it we keep going with engines engines how's that for a monster big old brute right that's an updraft briggs on that so 70 cc engine so there we are. Also in here is that is a 250SX, TRX 250SX. And it ate, it had timing chain. No, it, um, the stator. It got metal in the stator and uh, chewed up the stator. I've gotten, I think I've gotten that one running. I think I managed to get that one running. This bike, 1985 200SX. This is the bike that started the Horde. Here she is. Um, I bought this. It came, I had a, years ago, early 80s, I had a lawnmower business and it, um, and what I would always do is take the profits and put them back into the business, buy more stuff. And this was one of the first things I bought that was not part of the lawnmower business. I bought this as a toy for myself. Um, when my son, I'm trying to remember the exact year I got it. My son Joe was born in 86 and I have pictures of towing him around. He was about two. I have pictures of me towing him around on a sled. So, y you know, that would have been like the winter. And I think that was before we had his brother. So, I think that was the winter of um, 88 or 89. And I had already had this for a while. So, I got this. It wasn't all that old. So, um, starts, runs, moves, nice bike. Um, once again, the first member of the horde. This um, this bike came from um, Gilda Gilda Brand, New York, something like that. Two hundred um, ES Big Red. Uh, so two fifty ES. Excuse me. This is a two fifty ES. Um, he sold it to me and told me he needed a wire harness. I replaced the harness, couldn't get it to spark, and actually learned a lot about the whole ignition system on these things from working on this bike. Uh, the bike 
somewhat of a loser from a financial point of view, but from the point of view of a good training exercise, it was great. Turns out, though, it did have some harness problems. That wasn't its biggest problem. Its biggest problem was it, um, it too, had metal in the flywheel, which ate the stator. Um, if I had to deal with these type of bikes all over again, I would just kind of um, clean that stator situation up and as long as it was charging the battery to some extent, I just put my portable ignition on this thing. It does not have a built-in timing advance, and my portable ignition does. So um, my portable ignition would be perfect for a bike that has a chewed-up stator. So that's this one. And this guy in the back. Uh, I got this um, from a friend of mine, John, it used to belong to his son. I'm told it had transmission problems, but it came complete. And quite honestly, I never had time to do anything with it. So here it sits. This is a TRX 125. Spare tire, some tar paper, and once again, the flock of engines. 70 there's a 90 back there a lot of 200s or 185s a few brigs once again the rear end the other stuff so this concludes shed number three let's take a look in shed number four folks thanks for watching thanks for commenting thanks for subscribing remember keep your feet down your head up we'll catch up with you on the next episode of the horde which will be shortly um we'll go until my battery dies and then we'll uh, we'll start up again uh, later on in the day all right folks take care now